Okay, my name is Alyssa, and I'm a designer filled um, with a head filled with ideas. And I really do have a desire to bring creatives together in genuine community. I've been freelancing for full time for over six years, and along the way, have found most of my creative community through um, online, like social media, and then creative um, conferences and designer retreats. But honestly, mostly online. And so. I moved to Toronto five years ago, and to be honest, I never really tried to cultivate my collab community in my real life. So years before the idea to create a space where creatives could come and collaborate together and learn had started to form, but had never actually been born, and corking and freelance culture wasn't as big, so I just happily shelved the idea. Um, but at the start of 2017, I became a part of a mastermind group, and this became a safe spot where myself and four other women came together to learn from each other, ask questions, and brainstorm. This is where I found, like I directly saw the electricity that happened when people come together and learn from each other, and just how much faster we ran in our careers and our relationships and our lives because we were running next to our fellow cheetahs. Fast forward to the summer where I started to feel dissatisfied with the typical working from home and out of coffee shops, and I found that most of my friends that I was collaborating with were living in sunny California, and I was here in Toronto all by myself. Um, so I, yeah, so I just really started to desire to have a creative space of my own. Then by the power of Facebook, a friend tagged me in a post where another guy was pulling together a bunch of, bunch of creatives. So I messaged him to see if I was the right fit, but he never messaged me back, no hard feelings. Anyway, as a result, I started to think maybe I could do this. So I jumped on Craigslist and 249 Crawford popped up and it was love at first sight. Um, the Trinity Bellwoods location and pedestrian curb appeal had me, had me at hello. And so I messaged the landlords to see if I was the right fit and after about two weeks of negotiation, um, I signed the lease at the end of August with move-in date for November 1st. Um, but I was the only, well, there was one other person interested. And, um, yeah, let me see. I was the only one, yeah, there was just two of us at that point. But I really did have the belief that I was supposed to do this. And as Kevin Costner has taught us all, if you build it, they will come. And so I built a domain, got an Instagram account, because that's what you do, and I put out the word. And then... Th I just wanted to collide with other like-minded people. And then Seth Godin's words just kept coming to mind. Who you hang out with determines what you dream about and what you collide with. Change the outcome by changing your circle. So with that conviction, I started to like write down the pillars and the culture that I wanted to have with other collaborators at Like Minds. So we would have fun and work hard. We'd see past trends and run ahead of the pack. We don't take our work or ourselves too seriously. We believe there is enough work to go around. We seek to inspire and empower. And slowly but surely, the right people started to jump in. Um, through Instagram, photographer Christine and creative director Liam signed up after only reading a six-sentence caption about the vision of like minds. And like, in all transparency, I was nervous. I was like, do, are they weird? Do they talk too loud on the phone? Like, is this too good to be true? But what it taught me is that when people see the vision as clearly as you do before they can even tangibly hold it, you say yes to those people. They'll push you when you don't want to keep going, and they'll help you jump in even further. So we've now been in this space for nearly three months, and we've grown to five members, Christine and Liam, Emma, who's a graphic designer, Andrea, who's a podcast host and coach, and myself. We have space for one or two more, so if you're like feeling all the feels after this talk, come talk to me after. So in Toronto, especially taking ground and having a physical space is a real fight. And this fight doesn't have to end with just five people in what we've lovingly named the fishbowl. Who knew there was too many windows, that you could have too many windows? Um, when I initially walked into 249 Crawford, I saw more than just a co-working space. I envisioned workshops and pop-ups, um, hangouts and performances. Because for a lot of up-and-coming brands, brick and mortar is just not feasible in the city. So we wasted, and I really wanted it to be their home too, so we wasted no time. In the first month, we had a creative hangout for 15 women in the design industry to just come and talk 
and learn from each other. And then in two weeks, we're hosting a financial workshop um, by paper and coin, um, and they're going to talk about expenses and nerd out about taxes. Um, we've also opened the fishbowl to two brands to take over and transform the space into their own. Lingerie powerhouse Mary Young and Friends did a three-day pop-up in December and Ondenbrooks, a loungewear designer, took over our space for one day for her very first solo pop-up. Besides being a safe and collaborative space, I also desired the creative proximity. I wanted feedback and I wanted people to have input and I also wanted to give input. I wanted to be pushed to run faster, grow bigger, and really just step outside my creative bubble. Granted, it's really, really easy to stay in an insular mindset even when you're surrounded by people. Like even with all my good intentions and everything, you still have to be open. Um, so in starting this space, I've ironically learned that starting isn't enough. Um, I still need to give to this little family that I've created before I can even expect or ask for anything. And by giving each day that I'm there, and giving can be as simply as just showing what I'm working on and asking for input, or asking them what they're working on, or just being open to conversation, I'm getting so much in return. And together, we're making magic. Thank you. <laughs>